There it is, bucket list number one. Everybody was filled with awe, A-W-E. Do you know what that word means? Awe, it is a spiritual word that carries with it the distinctive idea that only God can produce it. Spiritual awe can only come through the reality of God's presence. To be filled with awe means that no matter how I feel or where I go or what I'm doing or how deeply I hurt, I know that my Redeemer lives. God is with me. You see, folks, everybody listen to this. We're asking the wrong question all across America today. I said this even in Nashville at Opryland yesterday. All across America today, people are saying, let's pray for God to presence himself with us. That's the wrong question. Because God is. God hasn't gone anywhere, folks. Yes, we must pray for God to presence himself with us because he invites us to ask him. What he wants us to do is to accept his presence, to acknowledge his presence, the result of which will be a spiritual aweness. It will be a spiritual awakening. Everybody wants God to be present. So I've decided bucket list number one, I just want God involved in my life. I want God involved in my marriage. I want God involved in my grandparenting. I want God involved in my business. I want God involved in my surgery. I want God involved in my retirement. I want God involved in my housing. I want God in my move to another state. I want God involved in my ball game. I want God to be involved in my relationships. I want to be in God involved in my mistakes. If he's not involved in my mistakes, how do I know that I'm forgiven? Number two, bucket list number two, everybody wants to see amazing things. Everybody wants to see amazing things. Look at verse 43. Everyone was filled with awe and many wonders. That little word wonder really means amazing. Just amazing things. Everybody wants to see amazing things. That's why American Idol is so popular. It's amazing. It's why we have one reality show after another on television. That's why when there are tragedies like we experienced recently in Tuscaloosa, Alabama and Joplin, Missouri, everybody wants to look at it because it's amazing. It's spectacular. It's out of the ordinary. You see, amazing captures the heart and soul and spirit of the human being. But God says that he will show us amazing things that come from him. I want my amazement to be connected into all that God is because he is God creator. He's powerful. He's awesome. God can do things that I cannot do, that you cannot do. He's not limited by this world in which I live. And when God acts, what happens is amazing. By the way, the most amazing thing of all is when a person gives their heart to Jesus. And a life is changed forever. Now folks, my bucket list, I want God to be present. I want to, I, I want to see amazing things. <laughs> I, I've, I've got to be honest with you folks. I do not want to settle for the ordinary. I'm not willing to settle for mediocre, are you? I don't want ho-hum. 
I don't want to live the rest of my life in a rut. I don't want second verse to be the same as the first. I want the sparks to fly. Folks, you and I, even here at First Baptist Church in Spartanburg, what are we praying for? The amazing things of God. I'm praying that God would be so present in this place that what we would see is nothing short of amazing. 